Microservices is a hot topic these days. Everybody wants to create applications using the microservice architecture. What are microservices? There are so many technical explanations for this, but let me break it down for you in a very simple way. The various softwares that you install on your computer are an example of traditional applications. When we need to write a traditional application, we would start a new coding project and add functionality to that project. Need more functionality? Add more code. With more functionality comes more code and outputs one single application. Having a single application is called a monolithic architecture. So what begins as a small code base ends up as a large, complex and unmanageable code. Why did we need to change from monolithic applications? It was difficult to deploy large applications. They are also complex to scale and makes it difficult for developers to work together. Considering all these disadvantages, after a while, people started wondering, hmm, there must be a better way. And thus, microservice architecture was introduced. In order to easily understand the concept of microservices architecture, I'm going to borrow an analogy from the automobile manufacturing industry using the distributed supply chain methodology. In the past, manufacturing a car was a monolithic operation. A generic and flexible car design was introduced to facilitate the assembling and the reuse of generic parts. A single person or team was in charge of building all the parts of the vehicle. You had to finish one part to work on the other. This made production slower and less efficient. With time, the monolithic model now needed to be changed to a distributed model. Car manufacturers started focusing more on part specifications and quality. More teams decided to get involved and focus on each part separately. What did the industry gain by doing this? This increased agility and reusability. With the new approach, you can quickly design and create new product parts. Each of the higher quality parts was then assembled to create the final car. This led to faster production of vehicles, reduction in redundancy and production of parts with higher quality and efficiency. So how is the microservices architecture mapped to the car manufacturing analogy? Microservices are a way of breaking your application down into standalone independent applications that can be run on different hardwares or server instances. The car is the software product. Each part of the vehicle acts as a microservice. Each part will be responsible for its own functionality, just like a microservice will be responsible to perform its own independent functionality. The vehicle parts are the microservices that you need to compose to make the software product. You now don't have one application to build and deploy, but you have several mini applications responsible for doing small functionalities that need to be built and deployed separately. But they work together at runtime to complete your actual application. What are the benefits of microservices architecture? Flexibility. Each team can focus and excel on building their own services. Easy maintenance. If a component is identified to be faulty, it can be replaced without impacting any other parts in the system. Flexible scaling. Required components of the system can be scaled independently, reducing cost and risk to other components. Just like there are many advantages, there are a few challenges as well. The first challenge is complexity. Communication between services can be complex. An application can include dozens or even hundreds of different services and they all need to communicate securely. Debugging becomes more challenging with microservices. With an application consisting of multiple microservices and with each microservice having its own set of logs, tracing the source of the problem can be difficult. Discovery is also a challenge. With microservices, how does the service know which REST API endpoints to call in which environment? Do you hard code these URLs or do you have a process around service discovery? So this is the concept we need to think about and invest some time into. Skill is also a challenge. You need skilled development teams who can understand and manage all these services. 
microservice architecture, as interesting and effective as it is, is not suitable for all types of applications. So careful consideration about what sort of architecture your application needs is important to determine the correct architecture for your application. We believe that when managed correctly, microservices can be the agile remedy to the complex monolithic architectures that often drain time and energy from their companies and employees. Hope you understood clearly about microservices and how they function. If you want to know about different technical concepts broken down in an easy to understand manner, subscribe to Korea Dev and click on the notifications button to get notified about our latest videos.